Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with a two inch brush and a little bit of yellow and red. And let's come right here and drop in a little bit of a background. Now, maybe today we're going to do like a little forest or something like that. So all this is going to end up being is color sort of shining through the trees. There's a little bit of red. I like the red in there. It kind of warms it up, keeps it from being too bright. Okay. A little touch right here in the water. Now with our filbert brush and a little bit of red, blue, and white. Let's just drop in a beautiful little mountain here. All right, then just fill it right in. Pretty soft. It's just, just a little something there in the background, in the distance. We're not too worried about it. Now with our filbert brush and some yellow, red, and brown. Let's just begin to shape on some beautiful trees. Now as you can see, I have a little basic sketch of my painting on the, on the canvas. What I did, I just took the filbert brush and a little bit of black and and just sort of laid it out for you. That way we both, we both have an idea of where we're going with this. This is a little open area. Maybe we'll have an open area up there. And we'll just sort of work on, on the background trees for now. Don't get too carried away. Do this slowly and work, work in various layers so that you don't, you don't have one flat line of trees. There's a lot of different trees in here and they're all at different distances. Makes it kind of interesting. Now with our filbert brush and some green, black, and brown, we can just tap in some beautiful trees up here. Now I ran some of that, some of the color from the first tree around in the, in the top here randomly. And I did that so that we could just, we could leave some of it open and showing through. All right. But most of the top is going to be covered in these beautiful trees. Be really loose and then you can come back and sort of tighten up the edges, make it look like all these beautiful branches that stick out. Now with a one inch brush and some black and green and blue, we can just scrub in some of this background. Maybe this is the land that all these trees are sitting on. All right. And maybe over here, we want just a little. Sort of leave this area open. That'll be some rocks, but I don't want to fill it in yet. I want to leave my sketch just a little longer. And then we can put some land down here. Next, with our filbert brush and some black, a touch of green and red. Let's just begin to, to block in this water here. Now we know. We know this is going to be a lot of dark reflections because look at all the trees and things around it. So we'll just sort of brush this in like that. All right. Not so much out here because we want a little bit of the yellow to show through. Now with our fan brush and some yellow and green. Let's just come right back here and begin to tap on some beautiful little Highlights. And this is this is some grass here in the background. So just tap it right on. Follow the angle that you want your grass to slope at. And I want a nice little slope today. See that? Very nice. Continue it past the tree. You can always clean the trees back up later. Now you don't want to leave it like that. Grab a little bit of nice bright color. And re really highlight it make it stand out. Now with the filbert brush, we can go through a little bit of yellow, red, touch of green, just a lot of nice colors, kind of gentle, soft, muddy colors. And we'll use those to put a very subtle highlight on some of these bushes and trees back here. Don't need much, just a little, don't want to overdo. If you get too much going on, you'll completely lose all this beautiful contrast and dark that we have going. I'm, I want to save the dark. It's pretty. 
We're gonna have trees and things in front of this. So we definitely don't wanna go crazy here. Next, we'll go through a little bit of black and brown on our filbert brush. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're gonna do one tree right there. Reload. You ready for this? Another tree right there. All right. And, oh dear, <laughs> we're going right through, right through all those pretty trees we just made, but that's okay. Just gotta throw them in. Next, we can work on this very interesting pile of rocks over here. Now, maybe we want like a little tiny, tiny stream or waterfall. Maybe there's a spring up there or a creek, who knows what. Maybe rain, we don't know. But for some reason, there's some water sort of trickling down these rocks, and it's very pretty and very interesting. So that's what we're doing. This is just, this is just blackening. I'm scrubbing in the base coat only. We'll come back and highlight in just a few minutes. Now we'll go through a little bit of black, brown, and white. And with that, we can just drop on some beautiful highlights to these rocks. See that just hit the top of the rock. Not too bright. Okay, looking good. Don't want to overdo. We need some on this side too. Now with our knife and some brown, yellow, and white, we can throw some highlight on these trees. So just touch and leave a little bit of that paint behind. Wipe the knife and you can sort of just just work it back. All right. Now we need to talk a little bit here about the light source. Maybe the light's sort of filtering through here and here it'd be filtering in so we'll want light here, light on this tree. There's some. And we can make these brighter. I just wanna, wanna show you where the light's gonna be. There's some. Now on here, Maybe there's another little opening like that off the canvas, but the light's coming across. So we would also see light on this tree trunk. This is very, very important. All right. Now with our fan brush, we'll go through a little bit of yellow, touch of red and white. And let's just scrub this color right on. We're gonna go ahead and create beautiful little tiny waterfalls right here and then drag it back you're not not looking to go to go crazy and make this a painting about waterfalls just to give a little interest and detail to the stream area next we'll tap our one inch brush into a little bit of yellow and green and with this we can just a uh, Apply a few little final details. Look, you can just create some beautiful grass and bush shapes very quickly. Just tap them right in. All right, don't wanna to go too much. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website, my DVDs, and also my brush line. And thanks for watching.